if I don't do my job, if I don't stay loose, if I don't drop into the scene, then none of this shit matters. Like, I'm in this ridiculous fucking astronaut suit. Like, it's, it's all pointless. At this point, I gotta go out there and just have fun. So welcome to Miami. This is tech rehearsal week. Basically what we're doing is we get to Miami, show number one of the tour is Friday. We get to Miami on Monday, the truck pulls up, they unload everything, and they basically just start building what everybody will see on the tour for the next almost year. Like, is it difficult? No, it's a breeze. It's a breeze, but I told you it's a breeze. Yo, it's a breeze, but I told you it's a breeze. Yo, it's a breeze, but I told you it's a breeze. I'm up in the VIP and it's sun on GLD. I think one of the craziest things is none of these people that are here were here or a part of the project six weeks ago. And now they're all here working on this project. I was talking to the guy who owns this venue and the show that shut down in this space in March of 2020 during the pandemic was Hamilton. And we're the first show back. Like, is it difficult? No, it's a breeze. Wow, this is the rear projection? Yeah. Wow. So this is the RP screen. By the way, you know we own all this now. Oh wow, we bought this. <laughs> we bought all this stuff. This is the scenery. How, this, much, how much is this? How much did we buy? The RP is only like 2,000. Yeah, this right here is 2,000. This is an RP screen. Shout out to all my B&H heads. Light work, two Gs. Yeah. This is a rear projector. This thing is half a million dollars. Yeah. This is, it's this is, it in. so this is, this is like our Lambo. You know how like rappers will be like, this is our Lambo. This is what makes the show possible. Only people who know, know. You know about the UDX 4K32. I was telling everybody, I was basically like, it's like Starbucks to go. How do you create a show or a product that everybody across the country in all 52 cities is gonna get, but we can pack it up on a dime and then the next night we can go to a different city, the next night we go to a different city, and it looks like a Broadway show. So this week is basically a crash course in, hey, can two Indian kids put together and produce a touring Broadway show? Right now, we are testing every single cue in the show, which is something over 400 different graphic cues that then time up with lighting cues, which then also now time up with stage cues, that floating holodeck. Transition out of this, let's, let's, let me just see the full transition. This is what people don't see. It's, it's the tedium of producing a show. You sit in the audience for hours. You go through every single cue for three days. Every moment is planned. That's just how I approach my work. Fingers crossed, because um, we, we spent a lot of money on this, and if it doesn't work, I, I have a lot of explaining to do to Bina. Um, all right, so it's 2.48 p.m. We are two hours away from them shutting down the theater and then loading in the audience for the seven o'clock show. It's the size and scope. You know, with Homecoming King, the size and scope was just creative. Will the audience be down to come watch a storytelling show? It's me, basic lighting cues, and then a projection behind me like I'm a substitute teacher. Like I'm like, hey class, my name's Hassan, this is my story. And I would just, they would literally go through the slides. We're now doing venues that are three, four, five times the size of the venues we were doing for Homecoming King. Will it work? <laughs> I mean, that's like, that's the experiment. Will it work? Like, we'll see. Dude, as a performer, this is the one thing you do not want. Like, this is my superpower. For better or for worse, man, like, all the stories rely on some visual that the audience needs to see. And now the projector went out. Can I just be honest? I have all this anxiety because as a performer, sometimes I get really tight. I get locked into the plan. But it, it's like, they're gonna be here in what for him? Show starts in fucking 20 minutes. This is just one of those moments I just have to let go. Because it's, it's not in my control anymore. 
like at this point, I know the show. Everybody out there is doing the best they can to fix it. We we have to just give them a great show. That's what I gotta do. I just gotta drop in and just play jazz in this moment. If the projectors go, they go. If they don't, they don't. There's 3,500 people out there and it's just, we gotta make it work. All right, so right now it's just about 7.30. We're running about 30 minutes late, but I just heard that the projector is running. So I think the show's on. I'm going to check in on Hassan and PV right now. Yeah. Okay, we are up, we are running. Okay. And yeah. we're not worried that there's any sizing issues or anything like that? We are, That's we are running news. on the backup, but it's up, so this is good. Uh, it, it'd be great just the whole stage goes out and I'm just in a jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I have to come so, out and give a disclaimer. Listen, there was a whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just ignore it. Just, I, I know I'm dressed like a race car driver. So, so. All right, the three amigos. We go this way? This way. Okay. I think the thing to remember right now yeah. is that everything we did over the last three days uh -huh. will mean nothing unless you have fun up there. Totally. That's the only thing that matters yeah. is that you are just having fun. Don't worry about the projectors. Don't worry about the screens. Don't even worry about the audience. Just have fun. Up there. <laughs>